what's up guys and welcome on into a very very cool video um this is actually going to be a video from sycamore zoo now if you don't know i haven't posted a sycamore zoo video in months uh it's been a very long time since i've ever posted anything on sycamore zoo uh no excuses here no excuses i really don't have one um i just kind of stopped doing anything in sycamore zoo and really doing anything in planet zoo for a little while um, but specifically Sycamore Zoo, I just kind of hopped off of it and didn't really come back for a while. Um, but I am back now. Uh, I'm really, really excited actually because I am starting the new entrance. Um, and obviously this is probably still going to be changed up a little bit here and there. Um, I don't really know if, if this is my favorite um, like entrance area that I've ever done. But I am excited to get started on the new entrance. Um, it's going to be bigger, better than the one that I had before. And um, yeah, I'm just really, really excited about it. So for this one, I'm actually doing the fennec fox as the entrance animal. Um, I was going to do flamingos, but I feel like everyone does flamingos. Um, and I guess, yeah, typically zoos do uh, birds for the entrance. I know, I feel like I'm rarely ever going to a zoo where the bald eagle is not the first animal that you see. I don't know if that's an American thing or if that's just a zoo thing. But um, yeah, I feel like uh, if we had bald eagles, that would be really cool. Um, I do actually make a small, small aviary um, in the front of this as well, um, just because I really feel like it's like one of the cooler things, um, aviaries. You know, hoping, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, that we will be able to get uh, aviary DLC at some point um, but yeah just going along here and kind of creating the little um, interior area for the fennec foxes um, I really I know like they don't have them in every single uh, exhibit but I feel like being able to see like kind of the behind the scenes of animals is really cool at least when I go to zoos I really do enjoy that so I kind of try and implement it in a lot of my builds um, and I do implement it here as well I'm um, just kind of having a little area where you can see where they're sleeping and kind of their little backstage area that the keepers can get into and whatnot um, but yeah I really did enjoy making this one and I hope you guys like this video um, if you do just remember to give it a like um, if you want to see more of my content, I am totally okay if you subscribe to my channel, like, you don't have to, but I would enjoy it, and I would also love to have just more people come along for the ride of these kind of fun builds. Um, I do plan on doing more in the new year um, with this channel, and hopefully you guys will be here for it and kind of see if I grow any at all. It'll be fun to see. Um, I really just started this for the fun of it, and honestly, I know, like, from right now, I believe I have 133 subscribers. It's really not much in the span of like, you know, any subscribers at all, but I cherish each and every one of you. Um, I really do. Um, I appreciate anybody who wants to come and watch my videos and just to see kind of what I'm doing and kind of how the zoos are going or um, honestly any of my movie builds. I really know um, just how like I enjoy it and I'm glad that other people enjoy them as well. Uh, but yeah, moving on though from the sappy like new year, thank you for all of the growth and everything like that, um, moving on to what I'm actually doing. Um, I feel like, I feel like I love these faux walls that I end up doing, um, but the color just wasn't right and I don't know if I'm, I, I don't remember if I end up changing that or not. Um, I think I may, but it just kind of looks a little too pale in my opinion. Um, I might go back and change that if I don't already in this video, um, doing the voiceover and the video in different days. So honestly, I can't even remember what I was doing. But um, yeah, like I said, I am doing the Phoenix Fox build and um, it is uh, one of my favorite animals to build for just because you can do a very small um, habitat without it kind of being an, is an issue. And like I know technically it doesn't need to be an issue because it is sandbox. Like you could make all of them really really small habitats and the animals wouldn't care. But I feel like it just adds to kind of like the um just kind of the vibe to have it be like a smaller enclosure and kind of smaller exhibit to like show them. Um I feel like it's more realistic to most uh zoos, especially with fennec foxes. I feel like even the ones in zoos don't really get biggest enclosures like I feel like they could be bigger most of the time when I go to see them 
you know, but they're still good. I still do enjoy looking at the different types of enclosures that they have. And like I said, for this one, I did go to Pinterest and I kind of looked up um, different smaller animal enclosures and things like that, just to kind of get a vibe of what I wanted to go for. Um, and so yeah, um, but I do end up adding quite a bit of foliage and a different um, interactive things to this exhibit. Sadly, they cannot use some of them, which I, I know Frontier has to have hitboxes, but the hitboxes I feel like are too big on um, Fennec Foxes um, because these tunnels that I'm making right now, they weren't able to fit through, um, even though they are like 10 times smaller than like the area that they're supposed to be in. I don't know if it was the height or um, something like that that was getting in the way or like the type of item it was that was getting in the way, but it they weren't able to use them at all, which was really sad, but it still looks nice, so I kept them in. Um, but yes, definitely just making more um, faux walls. I really love the way that these look and the way that they turn out, um, and I love using them. Uh, just because they really do give a lot of texture and a lot of, um, uh, what's the word? Like, they make it look like a real zoo, because obviously real zoos can't have real trees in every single exhibit and real backgrounds and all that good stuff um, but it really does just add to like the realism of the zoo which is funny because it's fake but like adding fake things to real zoos is a real thing so if you want to add fake trees to a fake zoo it makes it look more real but anyways moving on um yeah so this is actually um i feel like a lot of zoos have this and i don't know if i really see it a lot on planet zoo but um like semi-interiors, I guess you would call them, um, where you just kind of walk in one way, walk out. There's no doors or anything like that. Um, I feel like I've been starting to add more to my zoos just because I feel like they're very accurate. Like a lot of places, unless it's like a tropical house or like a birdhouse or something like that, they don't really have doors. They just have kind of like entry and exit uh, arches and stuff like that that you can go through and kind of still view the animals um, in there and maybe have some info boards and kind of just a way to get out of the sun and things like that. Um, so that's kind of what I tried to recreate here. Um, I'm not exactly done with this area, but I obviously there had to be a finish to the video. Um, and so yeah, like I'm kind of proud of the way that this turned out, but it's definitely not finished. Um, and again, I, I don't know, I feel like I haven't been in Planet Zoo very often recently so it's been a little bit more difficult to try and like pinpoint the style that I'm trying to go for um but I don't hate the way that it turned out um again I still may end up redoing this and I'm not exactly sure if it's the entrance plaza that I kind of imagined um but it looks good for now and I hope you guys at least can agree with that um but yeah I'm just going in here I try to do more detail work. Again, I'm really bad at detail work. I feel like I, I just, I, I don't know, I just can't get with it sometimes. Like I see all these people making like all this really cool detail and I'm just sitting here like, let me just put down the four walls and you know, some faux rock and call it good. Um, but yeah, I really did enjoy making this and this area in particular, this small little area, um, I really did enjoy as well. Um, again, I feel like it may not be placed in the right area in the zoo, um, but once I start expanding this area over here, I may end up moving it. Um, but for now, I feel like it looks good here, and I feel like it would draw people in um, to look directly at that, and then maybe head over to the Fennec Foxes. Um, and yeah, it's just all around, I think it ended up turning out pretty good. Um, I, I don't know if I like that I put rocks down on everything, because I feel like that was a little unrealistic. But yeah, you know, live and learn, I suppose. And it's, it's always something that can be fixed in the future or switched up. So I wasn't too worried about it. Um, but yeah, I did go ahead and add um, some kind of different um, textures and things like that with the um, fence pieces and with the faux rocks just to kind of give it a more themed look. Um, again, I don't I don't know how great I am at themes or anything like that, but I do just love kind of messing around and see what seeing what sticks, at least for the meantime. Um, but yes, and uh, I did cut most of it out, but I did go and I looked in the workshop. I kind of wanted to put like a kid area over here or like a little play place so that the kids could run through this way and maybe the parents could go through the interior, but nothing was just really fitting very well. Um, so I ended up skipping that and like I said, I did end up putting a little birdhouse here. Um, it could be used for like some small birds, maybe some, you know, 
finches or maybe a parrot or a barn owl, something like that. Um, not exactly sure what it would be put in, um, what we would be putting in here, but uh, I was excited to at least have an implied bird area. Um, just kind of at the entrance, like, you know, most of the zoos that I see. Um, and I really did love this raised um, flower bed as well. Um, I feel like it kind of adds a lot more detail to the kind of that I was going for, and it really just ended up turning out really nice. Um, again, kind of using some, some for scale, just so I didn't make it too big or too small, um, and kind of using this hack that I've done a few times to make um, like a circular little area, um, like a circular little bird cage. Um, it works pretty well for me, and I did try to get it as circular as I could. Um, but yeah, just kind of uh, coming in here and making it look a little better. I do end up putting mulch down and things like that to make it look good towards the end. Um, and for the longest time, I've always tried to make the top look custom and unique, and I always end up just using um, the the cir circular um, like thatch roofs just because they look the best and they look the most realistic. Honestly, I think that's my one gripe with the Planet Zoo, um, like, frontier, like, additions. Like, we have, like, maybe two or three, like, circular roofs. And we have, like, I feel like unfinished sets of roofs. Like, I know there are some that have, like, like rounded edges and then some that don't have rounded edges. And then we have, obviously, the thatch that has, like, the unique circular roofs and um also like the glass roofs i feel like aren't finished as well like some of them just don't have everything that are necessary um and honestly the one thing that gets me is for one like if you managed to make like a one by one like room or something like that like let's say you wanted to put a roof on one um of the shops or one of the food stalls or something like that like you can only do the like triangular shape of roofs like they don't have like uh i don't know how to describe this one that's like pushed down on all sides and there's just like a tip in the middle you know what i'm saying like i feel like that's like a necessary thing to have um i don't know if that's just me but i feel like we've been kind of gypped out of that but I digress. I'm not complaining that much. But, um, yeah. Like, besides that, I feel like everything else is great. <laughs> you know? But, um, I feel like if we could have more finished roof patterns, or, like, roof sets, um, but yeah. Um, just kind of wrapping up here because I feel like this is gonna finish soon. Um, I will show you. I think I'm gonna talk to you in the live portion where I show you it all finished. So we will see, but um, in any case, thank you for watching, and I really do enjoy um, your guys' viewership and like your comments and everything like that, and um, I really do hope to be putting out more content sooner um, and more on schedule. So hopefully um, 2022 scheduling will happen on this channel, and it'll be great. Um, <laughs> but yeah, for now, I will... Uh, talk to you later, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Bye! All right, so we are back and we are doing a kind of live preview or live tour of what I've done so far. As you can see, it is not a lot, but you know, we're, we're getting there. We obviously, as you can see, we got our hotel up in the top. We've got our zoo here a little bit to the left, and we are just going to be making our way 
um, up and over and maybe expanding a little bit on this side as well um, and then obviously we are doing the big expansion over um, around the tall tall mountain that we have right here um, but yeah going down and kind of figuring out what we're doing over here um, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the fennec fox habitat because I'm very happy um, as to how it turned out. I am very sad to say though that they can't use these tunnels. Um, I thought they looked really nice but apparently um, these uh, tiny little babies right here are not able to use them. Um, which is kind of sad because obviously as you can see in real life they would definitely definitely be able to use them. Um, I could probably try to hack it by putting a tunnel underneath there but you know, I'm just gonna let it sit for aesthetic sake and just have them in there anyways. Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, just kind of coming in here and um, I may do more detail work on the walls, um, may add more info boards. Um, I did make these myself just kind of sticking with the oh. uh, green color theme of Sycamore Zoo. And um, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not too much. Um, obviously I did not make the drawing at all I found that online um, and props to whoever made it because it is very cute um, but yeah just kind of having a little you know faux info board here um, having their little statue maybe kids can come up and touch this because obviously um, they do look like little puppies so I think a lot of kids would want to go and hold them and you know that's the closest that they'll be able to get but it is alive or not alive it is a um, you know um, life-size um, little statue of them so they'd be able to get like kind of how big they would be in comparison to other animals um and then as you can see coming over here we do have our little finished uh small aviary area um little just a little area for maybe a rescue bird or something like that to be housed in temporarily um and kind of just introing the area and um sticking with the little theme here um, as you can see, I did start to make progress on doing more detailing and I will obviously be doing more detailing over here and kind of covering this area up um, just so that you can't see um, all the other areas that we have on this side and just really encompassing the zoo. Um, and then over here, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put on this side. Um, kind of thought of maybe making a very close encounter with um, maybe some farm animals, but I'm not sure if I want that in this entrance way um so we'll see um let me know in the comments what you guys think i should put over there because honestly i'm not sure i am 100 percent okay with transferring animals from the other any other part of the zoo and i do actually have um let's see what actually what i have in my storage nothing uh so not a lot in the storage um but we are always open to adding um, different birds, different um, modded animals. The only thing I probably won't put in is a dinosaur, but um, <laughs> you never know. You never know. Maybe I'll put um, a thylacine or something like that in the zoo just for the fun of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will um, talk to you guys in the comments or in my next uh, video. I hope you guys have a nice day uh, whenever or wherever you guys are and um, yeah, just uh, have a nice day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.